Okay, welcome back again. In this uh, part, part two, catching basics and tools, we are going to look at building blocks for fast, fast catching. So what are the building blocks for fast catching? Well, the first and the most important part of it is the posture. So you want to improve quality and ease of sketching. Posture for sketching pretty much drives a lot of the aspects after. So I'm going to illustrate this to you in a minute. First thing is, when you're sketching for a good posture, you want to keep your shoulders loose and arrange the sketching material in front of you. Also, you want to reduce long-term fatigue and improve consistency of the sketch. You want to maintain concentration. These are all requirements. And keep the workspace view clear so you can think better. So you also tend to turn the sheet and not the body. Okay, so let's uh, get on to some sketching now. So the basics here are you need a tool, and these are my tools. The blue pencil and the Sharpie. So I'm going to show um, my posture, but just take a look at how um, my posture evolves in sketching. So you don't want these bad sketching postures, such as what you see here, putting your head down or slouching one arm as a pillow or head and shoulders and elbows um, wrongly positioned. So basically, you want to have a posture which is easy and uh, shoulders out and ready to go. One of the main points here is you want to use all four arms the wrist, the elbow, the shoulder, and clavicle. Let me show you, I'm just going to draw a line up here. So if you look at it, right, you can try a line. If the line is straight, going from here to here, right, straight line. Also notice that I've tilted the notebook a little bit. Not straight like this, but I've tilted it. So you can do that based on your convenience. And in my hand, arm, uh, shoulder and clavicle, like right up front uh, from, from my top up here to my wrist. All, all the joints have to move together. So if you kind of look at it from my, from my arms up here and my wrist, all of these kind of go together. So if I have to get a straight line up in my fingers, I have to coordinate the motion of all these joints. So it's the whole body that is more or less sketching. It's not just your hands. So if you try to draw a line like this, if my palm was resting like this, you see here, you don't get a line. You get a curve. So if you want to draw a line, you got to draw from your shoulders. So you're drawing from your shoulders, right? And then you get straight lines. Also, you'll notice that doing fast is better. If you draw slowly, it's not going to turn out as good. The fast ones are more confident. So I'm going to give you a short exercise now. Let's try this out. So draw a dot and draw straight lines all going through that dot. So it could be like here. If you miss it, it doesn't matter. Just shoot the birdie. Okay. So it's just practice to draw lines to a line to a dot here. So just keep trying that out. Okay. So I'm going to give you another quick short exercise. From this one, I want you to draw a circle. Just take a minute and draw a circle. I'm going to give you a quick illustration of how to draw a circle. If you look at these, some of you might have gotten the so-called chicken circle. If you sort of hesitate and you sort of draw slowly and you're trying to really get a circle, it probably is not going to turn out as one. How do you want to do it? So let me illustrate a quick way of doing a circle. So when you draw a circle, it's nice and easy, right? Just don't, don't try to be exact or accurate. Perhaps these circles, are not going to be as precise as maybe some of your circles that you might have drawn, but 
on the other hand, it's nice, easy, and confident. And also with the blue, the reason for using this blue pen is you can overdraw. Okay, if something is not good, you can you can draw over it again. And when we finalize it, and you use a copy machine or something to copy this, the blue lines will not appear. Okay, that's a lot of tricks to um, being quick and good and fast. If you're fast, your sketches look more confident and people will get a degree of confidence in terms of your sketching abilities. Believe it or not, you don't have to be good at sketching to be good at sketching. You just have to want to do it and keep it going. So we will see you again for the next module. Thank you.